It is with great honor that I would like to invite His Royal Highness Prince Daniel of Sweden on stage to give his opening remarks. Thank you. Thank you everyone for telling the audience everything that I were planning to say. I wish you could have been there with us in that village in Assam in northeastern India, just south of the Himalayas. I wish you could have been there when we sat down on the plain earth floor and listened to that mother. A mother who had so many worries, including how to put food on the table for her children. But she had such hope, great hopes and dreams for her children's future. And you should have seen her proud smile when she talked about her daughter. Ladies and gentlemen, as Martina and Lars and everyone has said, we are living in difficult times. With years of global pandemic, the recent war in Ukraine and rising inflation. The global poverty levels have gone up from 7.8 to 9.1 percent during the pandemic years. From 2019 to 2022, the number of undernourished people grew by as many as 150 million people. Hunger now affects almost 10 percent of the world's population. And learning poverty, the number of 10-year-olds that cannot read a simple text has increased from 57 to 70 percent in low- and middle-income countries. Of course, this stands in stark contrast to the goals of the Agenda 2030, and as you said, especially the goal number one. Maybe, I think that for a long time we have tended to take development and prosperity for granted, but now we are facing really absolutely fundamental challenges. Challenges that affect us all, but like Martina said, it's always uh, the ones that are already the most vulnerable that get hit the most. Take for example that village in Assam, a region that is rich in natural resources, but where a third of the population live in poverty. I'm very thankful for the opportunity that I got to travel to Assam a couple of years ago, 2019, yeah, together with a delegation led by Carl Bennett, uh, Carl, you have been crucial for this, together with Marcus and some others, but great job. This visit really helped me to understand how extremely important uh, Pratham's work is for the children in India. I will be focusing a little bit just on Pratham, I must admit. Uh, several of Sweden's largest companies with operation in India have partnered with Pratham. And as you said, tens of thousands of children have got quality education. This partnership is one, of, one example of how Swedish industry in partnership with academia and civil society sector works together to contribute societal development. For some of you that didn't listen before, this might not be a reputation, but for others it could be a little bit of a reputation. So you will know everything about the situation. It was there in Pratham that I met that mother I was telling you about. Uh, a mother that spoke with such pride and hope about how Pratham has given her daughter a chance. A chance to build a future. A future for herself, for, for her family and her community. Ladies and gentlemen, Swedish companies are known around the world for being super super trustworthy, uh, solving big challenges, big problems with technical solutions. We are trustworthy. Together with Pratham's dedication and commitment in this topic, it's a winning combination. I must say that I'm so proud of Pratham, the chapter Pratham's Sweden, and the work that you do together with the Swedish industry. To really, uh, you're working together for the future of children across India. And as I said, I'm very proud that I had the opportunity to come with you and see firsthand what you, what you do. 
So I really hope that you will have a good day here, a lot of good insights, new insights and knowledge that we will share together. So thank you for having me and good luck today.